Hello everyone, that's tuning in to today's third video. I do a weekend forecast for today's third video. So as also on Saturday, having a detailed look at the weather for the weekend. I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video release day was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And we've also uh, released the EC42 day as well. So please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's bits and content. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Thank you so much to uh, Weather Outlook and also to Veta for supplying the charts thank you so much to uh to and to veta for supplying uh, the charts and the data uh right okay let's get on with your weekend forecast then i'm going to begin with radar picture from uh two and we can see we've got heavy rain just clearing the far north of scotland at the moment but a showery rain into north Lyon, northwest scotland south of scotland i should say and uh, northwest parts being a few showers down to wales and southwest thing too most central and eastern parts can show have been dry bright and quite warm this morning despite relatively strong winds. In today's Arctic pressure chart, with low pressure, that storm Betty clearing away to the northwest, leave, leaving us in this showery run of west to southwest winds. So, through the uh, rest of today, very southern and east part of the country will be dry with bright or sunny spells. The persistent rain in the far north Scotland will clear away, but we'll have further showy rain through west of Scotland, northern Ireland, and also northwestern parts of England. And showers are likely through Wales and down southwestern into one of those showers, one or two of those showers pushing through into Midlands and central parts of England, but many central and eastern regions will stay dry with uh, sunny spells today. And quite warm as well, despite uh, pretty brisk winds, and particularly windy up in the north, there were some gales around Atlantic and Irish Sea coast. Those winds will gradually ease down through the course of the uh, day, but uh, despite the wind, it is quite warm, with temperatures ranging from around 15 to 25. 25 is 77 in Fahrenheit. Overnight tonight, the area of low pressure uh, pushes further away from us, so the showers will tend to die back towards uh, western northern facing coast, can be quite light and scattered as they do so. Most places, most central and eastern regions will have a dry night uh, with the clear spells and variable cloud and that most places will have a dry night uh, to be honest and although not as warm as last night in the south and the east temperatures will still be uh, warm and above average ranging from around 12 to 17 degrees. Tomorrow, Sunday, we'll see low pressure out in the Atlantic, a ridge trying to build up from the southwest. Most places start dry with bright or sunny spell, but scattering of showers will develop through the morning. Some of them could be quite heavy. Um, and then into the afternoon, many of the showers will die out across central southern parts of England and Wales, actually, as this ridge begins to build and kills the last so showers, particularly through central and northern regions of the country. And temperatures tomorrow again, pleasantly warm, ranging from around 15 to 24, 25 something like that. Low pressure coming back into the uh, north on Monday, so crowd outbreaks of rain spring south east was across Scotland and Northern Ireland, but England and Wales should be mostly dry with sunny spells and areas of cloud. Just a few scattered showers here and there. And uh, warming the south of England and Wales, we'll see temperatures again ranging from around 21 to 25, maybe 26, 26, 79 in Fahrenheit. Cooler though, Scotland and Northern Ireland have a cloud of rain, temperatures there a uh, peg back to around 13 to 18 degrees. Heading into Tuesday, low pressure is across the northern part of the country and a weather front will be coming southwards but dying out as it does so. So we can't be clear from the outbreaks of rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland. They'll spread southwards into Wales and Northern England where they tend to uh, fizzle out. Sunshine and showers following to the north. And then many sections, so some parts of the country again, mostly dry with sunny spells coming through. And uh, just one or two showers here and there. Temperatures in the south, but around 25 or 26, but cooler further north. Temperatures around 13 to 17 degrees up there. Hot air is trying to push northwards through the uh, middle part of the week from France. Very, very hot air sitting over France. It doesn't quite make it, but on Wednesday, we might just about get the temperature in the south and southeast to perhaps a locally hot category of around 27 or 28 into the low 80s Fahrenheit. Again, there should be mostly dry weather through southern counties with a few bright or sunny spells. But for Wales and the Midlands northwards, Wednesday looks quite a cloudy day with light rain and drizzle. Until we get up to Northern Ireland, Scotland, the Midlands brighter again with sunshine and showers. So temperatures across many centres. 
central and northern parts of Kirkwood is actually quite cool by the time you get through to Wednesday, only ranging from around 13 to 20. But it's just down in the far south of South East. We might get the temperature into the upper 20s at Celsius. If we do, it's a one day wonder because on Thursday, a trough of low pressure is dropping in from the north and pulling winds into a northerly direction. So Thursday will turn increasingly cloudy and showery across the northern half of the country. Outbreaks of rain setting in across eastern Scotland, north facing showery bursts elsewhere. The driest of the weather will tend to be to the west and to the southwest, but even here, some showers are likely. Temperature taking a bit of a tumble in the south as well, only up to around 20, 21 degrees, something like that across southern counties. And in the north, again, quite cool. Temperatures there ranging from around 13 to 16 degrees. And then that trough of low pressure is sitting over and to the east of the country on Friday, so further showery outbreaks of rain likely in central and eastern regions. Those outbreaks of rain probably pushing in towards East Anglia, South Eastern England as well as we get through into Friday. The driest weather again will be closest to this ridge of high pressure out to the west. And uh, temperatures, they're going to be very cool actually by the time we get through to the end of week, only ranging from around 12 to 18 degrees, something like that. It looks like we could keep this trough of low pressure close to the country into the bank holiday weekend as well, unfortunately. So further showers, if not longer spells of rain to come and winds all the time coming in from a north or northeast direction. So cool temperatures and cloudy with showery rain Possibly some quite wet weather at times through eastern parts of the country. We'll have to firm up on that. But overall looking like a relatively cool and mixed bank holiday. Just go through the charts with our outlook. So today we've got, we've got rain in the far north, clear away. Showers in the west, mostly dry and relatively warm in the uh, east and central regions. Tomorrow a few showers around. But again, a lot of dry and quite warm weather. And then into Monday and Tuesday. Warm and um, very warm actually at times in the south. Always cooler further north with some showery bursts. As we get through into Wednesday, Thursday and particularly into Friday, we find the temperatures taking a real tumble with showers and or longer spells of rain across the country. Um, if we get persistent rain, then the temperatures could become not well, notably cool, noteworthily cool as we get into the end of the week. We'll know more about that, know a little bit more about that in, in a few days' time. Uh, right, OK, so in summary, we're looking at a mostly dry and very warm first half of period down in the south, although not the heat that they're going to have over France. And uh, further north, it's going to be cooler and showery at times. As we get into the second half of next week, then we find cooler and showery conditions setting up across the country, uh, possibly uh, setting us up for a particularly cool and rather unsettled bank holiday weekend. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure what if it's going to be 10 to 14 day yet today. I've been for five video for day. I'm out with family uh, this afternoon. It's a bit of family time. So um, when I get back, if I get back earlier, so I might try and get a 10 to 14 day done for you, or at least go through the chart data, something like that. But if I don't have time to do that this evening, then don't be overly surprised. Certainly there won't be a video coming up this afternoon, though. Tomorrow, we've got the 6 a.m. UK weather forecast we will have the 10th and final autumn 2023 update and we'll be live streaming at 6 p.m we'll live stream our 10 to 14 day and we'll bring loads of long range into that as well with charts from cfs and also the basic climate center and we will run those charts all the way through to winter 2023 24 uh, for weekend forecast that's all for now and thank you so much for watching enjoy your saturday afternoon and bye for now